Good morning, everyone. Ugly American living in the Philippines. Uh, I'm going to do a video because today we we're at uh, a different side of town. Over there is the ocean. That's where we, uh, there's the shack where we bought those bamboo things. But I've never been over here before. We're at the market to get spices and supplies for the big fiesta coming up. Uh, I guess, I'm not sure now what day, 27. I don't know what today is. So, in a couple days. Uh, but anyway, I thought it would be interesting because this is not the more I thought we were going to the regular market in Sargao City, but this is a different side of town. So, well, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Finally found a place to park. Kind of. I don't know if you consider that parking. Oh, it's 8.30 in the morning. The sun is bright. You can hardly see the screen. Miss lero has got a list of things to get. All right. Get an idea of the market. It's pretty crowded. These are all uh, trikes looking to take people to and from their houses to the market. So here's the market right here. We're going in. Well, it's got a distinct odor to it. Oh, this is why, right here. The dry fish. You can't miss that anywhere. Can't miss that anywhere. I'll give you some prices of some of these things that marked. These tarps they got hanging over are not even six feet high. Most of them are kind of Filipino size. So I have to watch myself going through here. Oh, look at green beans, cucumbers, all kinds of stuff. Huh? I mean, carrots, potatoes. I don't know if that's a pumpkin or not. 14 pesos a kilo, 28 cents. Watermelon, 25 pesos, 50 cents a kilo. Kilos, 2.2 pounds. Got a clothes vendor mixed in. Got music going. Let me catch up to Miss Luria, make sure I see what she buys. Never been here before. Pretty crowded, I guess. I don't know why people are here. I guess they could take this stuff and then go out to their little sorry sorry stores and sell it, resell it. But that's just my guess. Ah, Ayo, Looks like she's buying some onions. How much are those onions? The onions, how much are they? Fifty two per kilo, which is a dollar four, something like that. Or two over two pounds. 
Somebody owns a ban banana plantation, evidently. Oh yeah, my wife wants some. I'll get her. I'll get her to come over here. Three hundred per kilo. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Is that a good price? Huh? Three hundred normal price, which is six dollars. Uh, six dollars for two pounds, so three dollars a pound. I see some seafood over this way. Oh, she's got a table of some fish. Hello, sir. Hi. My wife is coming to look. These are uh, another bananas that uh, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that you have to boil first. They're fatter and shorter and they're hard. But uh, Filipinos love them. I think these are anchovies. I'm not sure. Are these anchovies, huh? Yeah. They have another distinct odor with all these dry fish. Yikes. Alright, they spent 337 pesos at that spot. Do you want to wait in the car? No. Why? I don't mind. Ducking on all the ropes. Agree, I guess, is uh, the sign for limes. They're little tiny little limes, but they're only uh, 50, 25 pesos, 50 cents a uh, kilo. I didn't see what they bought or spent at that last stand. I know they're looking for carrots, but they look pretty bad. From what I gather. Yes, ma'am, no benta. I didn't bring my tripod, so I'm having trouble zooming and whatever. I thought it'd be easier without it, but actually that thing helps a lot. They even have a little restaurant set up here for people to eat the food. I guess they probably buy all that from their own market. Carrots. Those look farm fresh, huh? This guy's cutting the uh, ends off them right now. <laughs> Eggs for sale. The large ones are six pesos or twelve cents. Well, I guess the extra large are 6.25 pesos. And uh, just depending on size is how they price all those. I don't even know what, well, 144. So 144 pesos, no, uh, $1.44. Six times six is 36 pesos. Six times 12 is 72, so it's 72 pesos for uh, a dozen eggs for $1.44. This woman walks around with uh, these hangers and all these different spices. 
and I noticed that she'd been following this Lirio around the whole time, and I guess she finally made a sale. I guess she finally, I'll ask her, but I think she probably came down to the price. It looks like we're finished here. These guys drive these uh, motorbikes with sidecars right in the market and uh, loading up their purchases, I guess, but totally blocks everybody. But business has got to be done. By the way, not one person complained about it. They just accept that's the way it is, which is pretty good attitude. Yeah, those fish right there? Those are bigger than that, man. Now I see why they're happy to have them. Ninety. That's a good deal. So I I negotiated from three hundred per kilo to two ninety. Where do they get those shrimp from, huh? Oh, a shrimp farm in the ocean. Okay, those are uh, not natural. They're a good size. So 290 times 290 is, uh, I mean 290 times 2 is uh, 580. 580 times uh, half, 580. yeah, 290. $2.90 a pound for fresh shrimp. I did see them. Oh, Mrs. Lurio just informed me that that uh, this place is only open two days a week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. So they don't have this every day of the week like they do at the regular market is every day. Looks like this woman just moved right into a little spot. Just set up shop. I would imagine those are not farmed but caught. That? I said about uh, some okra for 10 pesos. We're looking at cabbage. How much is the cabbage? How much is the cabbage? 45 per kilo? 45 per kilo. All right, that was it. The whatever fresh veggie and seafood market in the other side of town. And now we're gonna go to the discount uh, store and get uh, the rest of the stuff we need like uh, olive oil and uh, I can't think of the other name of it, but I use it every day. Yeah, uh, soy sauce. All right, ugly American living Philippines over now.